see something that you want to add to it, you should have that option. So one of the things that I came up with, like I said, was adding danglers. And I'm the only person I know of so far that's doing this. So after this video, you guys will definitely have to tell me if you're going to try this. Like leave a comment down below and let me know if you are going to add any danglers to your charm strings or if you even tried to create one yet. So some of the materials that I found work best for additions to this are if you are in a, like for example, um, Joanna Fabrics, Craft Stores, they sell these like um, earring findings and they're basically pieces of metal. Most of them have a hole at the bottom. If they don't have a hole, then they will sort of look like a safe, like a, um, a sewing needle at the bottom that you would, you know, use to hold your clothes, the seam allowance until you sewed it. Um, they're usually long or longer because obviously if you're threading beads, like this one was threaded, um, then, you know, you need enough room to put the beads, but you also need enough room to finish it and turn it at the top or the bottom so you can attach it to your earring finding. The other thing I found that works really well um, are the clasp from, for necklaces. So earring clasp work really well. Um, the bigger the clasp, the better. The small ones do not work well at all. Because remember, you have to try to get in between existing buttons and charms and things that are already on your charm string. And what was my other? Oh, and this is one that I actually recently discovered, recently meaning like in the last five, six months, um, is <laughs> um, because I like fishing and we were going to go fishing and I was like, oh my God, I could actually use that for a charm string. And it's, I don't know anything about putting a fishing pole together or whatever. I just know how to throw the, the um, line in the water. And, and I do know how to put a worm on the hook, but I won't do anything like put other things on the hook. And I'll take the fish off and I'll clean it and all that. But anyway, in looking at the fishing pole when it was being um, like lined for me, I, I noticed this. This part makes a great way to, an easy way to add a charm, or not a charm, but a dangler to your charm string because it has this little hook that you just hook it right behind. And right there, that's where you would hang whatever goodie or treasure you have. And you could just snip this off at the top. It also unhooks up here at the top so you can easily attach it to your charm string. So that works really easy. This end you could also use, but it's not as reliable, but it's sort of akin to using one of the jewelry findings. But I like this end better because it's a click on, click off kind of thing. Super easy. The other thing that you can use is a lobster claw clasp. Um, that's what's on most of, I'm gonna say costume jewelry that came from, I'm gonna say maybe the 1990s right up until today. And once again, the bigger the claw, the better. You will need the O-ring, which is right here at the top, just like on this one. It doesn't have the O-ring, but if you have an O-ring to add to that, it makes it easier for you to add it to your charm string. So those are the materials that you need, nothing special. So with the jewelry finding, which is this, and actually I'll put it back on the white background so you can see it easier. With this particular jewelry finding or with the needle topped one, these are basically the same thing, just made a little differently. Um, all it is is taking it, threading it through whatever you're going to attach, which is what I did here. And then you have, and make sure you have plenty of excess up at the top because that is what you are, I'm going to move all of this out of the way, because that is what you are going to use to attach your item to your charm string. Now, there is a little bit of a science to attaching these. And the reason why is if 
for example, if I attach this little fellow in between two huge buttons, he would just be lost. Like you want to have it dangle somewhere where it's going to be visible. So I just take it, put it, I find my area, which I found, put it through, twist it with your hand a couple of times, and then you use your needle nose pliers to basically finish it off and attach it. How long you want it to dangle, that's up to you. But if you're adding a dangler, make I just say make sure it actually dangles. Otherwise, what's the purpose? Like if you put it in and you don't leave enough excess, it won't dangle at all. So it won't be visible at all. But, you know, to me, this is probably too much excess. I would probably take it down by about half. And all you're doing is twisting this until it, and, but make it neat, of course, until it's, you know, about the size that you're looking for. And then just, once again, pinch it to finish it off and make sure that any sharp edges are tucked in and will not injure you 